last season on Lala's Full Court Life. The trade was driving me crazy. Let it play itself out. Carmelo Anthony, potential three-team deal. We're on our way to the airport when Mel gets the call. That's good. We're moving to New York. So we're going to start doing some TV press. Hey, guys. Welcome to New York. Thank you. What's it like in New York? It's overwhelming. People everywhere, paparazzi. Do you like New York so far? Could you turn that away for one second? Blogs are buzzing about the Knicks player has a baby by another woman in NYC. Chauncey Phillips' wife is upset that he was included in the mellow trade. I didn't want you guys to be mad. We weren't. Your life literally changes like that. So you have no choice but to bond with the people around you because you need them. <laughs> That's what it's all about, family. And tonight on Lala's Full Court Life. Mella's got a road trip coming up. Well, shorty with the glasses, man. Asani. That's Mel's assistant. You don't hire a cute, sexy girl to work for your man. She's a pretty girl. She's single. Things could happen. But I just don't feel that way about Asani. I just want to know, are you messing with my man? So now we live in New York. We're here, we're settled in, living in New York kind of lifestyle. Mellow plays for the New York Knicks. And thank God the lockout is over. You would think after the lockout, things would kind of calm down a bit, but it seems like it's not happening. Sure. Running like a chicken with my head cut off. Life is crazy trying to juggle being a mom, a wife, you go. having a career. Hey, everybody! And I'm Lala Anthony, living in New York and always being in LA and vice versa. Hi, everybody. I mean, it never ends. It's a constant battle of trying to find time for everything and everyone. I miss Mel. It's been two weeks. Mm -hmm. So things between me and Mel are great, but just never seems like there's enough time between his schedule and mine. I was trying to get you before I went on stage. But thank God for technology, because between Skyping and sexting and texting and sex Skyping, is that even a word? Keeps us occupied. <laughs> How's everything look? Guess who's here? Yo! Hey! It's the get-along game. This is swanky. Look what we found. And of course, I'm still rolling with the same crew. Hey. I got Poe and Dice with me everywhere I go, and we're hitting the town. So Poe and I will always be there. It's just, you know, our close relationship. Please, stop! <laughs> Long for the ride. And that's what a friend is. That's what I think I am. Yo, so what's happening? What's going on today? Today is the photo shoot for my makeup line. There's a makeup line out called Motives, and I did a collection for them called Motives for Lala. All right, so you want to start? Yeah, there you go, just perfect. Nice. And these are the photos that are going to be seen anytime you see something about the makeup line. There you go. Love it. All right, love it. Yeah. So my face is going to be plastered on all these photos everywhere along with the makeup line. Beautiful. Love. Keep going. Charlemagne's a radio personality in New York, so I've known him for a while, just being in the radio circuit. Charlemagne, you need a hug. You've been sounding very angry on the radio <laughs> these days. What is going on? It's a lot of emo rap out here. It gotta be destroyed, that's all. Mm. <laughs> you know, nothing too mm. serious. I like Charlemagne because he's everything I'm not. He says a lot of times what everyone's thinking, but just doesn't have the guts to say. <laughs> I wanted to see if we could go through our stuff. because You're not going to leave me alone until no, we do not. that. Okay. I gotta get to it. Everybody out. I just need a quick <laughs> second. Asani is someone I hired to work for Mello. This is director of operations. Even though she works for him, she's involved in our entire family because when we go places, she's usually there if Mello's working. So she's around us a lot. Mello's got a road trip coming up. I'm trying to figure out where you guys can spend some family time. What's shorty with the glasses, man? Asani. Who is she? That's Mel's assistant. Like, so she travels with him and all that, too? Yeah. Wow. 
I mean, come on, don't don't be like that. She's a good girl. <laughs> She's God fearing. She wears glasses. You ever see how she got her glasses on now? <laughs> That's her alter ego. She take her glasses off. She's like super side chick. Are you gonna right. go? Well, yeah. If you don't go, then I'll go. I have a couple of trips right before, and I'll. Be and then, are you gonna be with him this week as well? Yep. You know, I think that's very noble of Lala, you know? She can't be with him on the road, you know? I hear about a lot of couples that do that, like, you know? Do what, exactly? She got a contracted side chick, it's cool. Like, it's just, That shit it's... is not going down like that. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay. Man, whatever, we can't have this conversation. It ain't right, it ain't happening. Yeah, no, nah, it's really not happening. Yeah. I'd be willing to bet the house. I need a new house. Yo. <laughs> so if there's anything that you need while you're gone, let me know. All right, see you. All right. Okay, bye. Okay, Charlemagne, are we going out to eat later? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so I'll see you tonight. No doubt. All right. Thanks, Thanks for hanging. <laughs> bye, Dario. The photo shoot was long, and I'm tired, and I want to. <laughs> but, so Mel's on the road, and it definitely pumps me up to see friends and people I know back here. It's just fun to know that all these people are here supporting each other and supporting me. It definitely means something to me. Oh, thank you. Oh, I didn't know you ordered those. Yeah, I did. Boost did my sex shoes? drive. How do you need your sex drive boosted? You're a freak. Do you always taking sexy pictures, dancing sexy? <laughs> hey, you gotta keep them interested. Men love that. What kind of stuff do you like other than naked pictures? I like my lab dances. I grew up in South Carolina. That was the culture. That That's what it. we used to do. But what is the real attraction with a guy and going to the strip club? The strip clubs are fun in a regular club. They play different music. The food be great a lot of times. It's like a man's spot. For me, strip club, that's just like a regular night going to the bar. So. Absolutely. And what does your girl say? Nothing. She likes yeah, it just more than I do. I've seen a lot of couples go together. The guy get his girl a dance. My thing with the strip club, I don't mind it. What? When La says she doesn't mind when Mel goes to the strip club, let's just be real, it, it bothers her. But do you go there because you want to have sex? I've gotten head in the strip club, and I've had sex with one stripper. Wow. Are you kidding? It's not that big of a deal. But you think the reaction should be more like, oh, OK, cool, have a great time? No, the reaction should be like, enjoy yourself. See you when you get home. And especially if he's traveling. If he's in Atlanta, he's supposed to go to the strip club. Because that's where the rest of the team's probably going. So why wouldn't you go with him? Exactly what I don't want to hear right now. Who wants to think about men cheating when your man is in Portland and you haven't seen him in 16 days? And I think it's known that athletes have women around them and go out, and there's people trying to get to them everywhere. So all I could do is trust Mello until he gives me a reason not to. You missed a lot during your photo shoot, you though. What do you mean? Yeah. Your, this earlier conversation we was having yeah. about Asani and yeah. Mello. This is quote, yeah, quote, quote. He said she legs. was his contracted biddy. No man and no woman can be just But what friends. about work relationship? Yeah. Hey, whatever works for them. No Hell no. Yeah. I don't put anything past anybody, but if I had found something out, I would have to deal with it whatever way I felt fit. girl chat. Kelly Rowland is one of my best friends. Angie is also a friend of mine that I've had for years. Angie's related to Beyonce, and Angie used to work with Destiny's Child. They know me really well, and I respect and value their opinion. This is a conversation that came up about strip clubs, and like, this is my take on it. Carmelo Anthony cannot walk into a strip club without oh. Twitter, Facebook, everything going haywire. So just tell me. That's all I ask, because yeah. someone's going to say something. The dancers are Twittering, because right. they're excited about it. That's yeah, because just... they go get them a new Gucci bag. Exactly. But I wouldn't have a problem with my man if he goes. I think that women should actually go with their men. Right. I would go with them. Yeah, see, yeah. like, yeah. yeah. If you just move work. that right over there and put a pole right here, what a fun night. But you have to know what you're doing. It's not a fun night if you're making a fool oh, of yourself. Awesome. If you're that's like, the thing. You know I took a class. The woman came to teach me, what and she teaches you everything. It's a lot of fun. That would be fun. So all the stripper talk just has me feeling like I want to talk to my friends and address the elephant in the room. It was just a thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I was at a photo mm. shoot, mm. and Asani walked in. Charlamagne, mm. he was like, mm, who's that? She works with Mello. Oline, you OK with that? 
And then he was like, La, I like what you're doing. Talking about La hired her, so when she can't handle him at home, put him on the road. Like, he went like, he just hear me out. So it was all fun and laughs, but then, like, office romances do happen all the time. But you don't hire a cute, sexy girl to work for your man. Any OG in the game would tell you straight up, that's not what you do. When I hired a signing, it was off of her character, her morals. I just know where she's at. And like, that never not... crossed your mind how pretty she was. Honestly, and it never yeah, like, did. It's frustrating when you think something is funny and everyone else isn't really getting the joke. I understand it's the rule that you're not necessarily supposed to hire an assistant that's attractive, but I just don't feel that way about Asani. So Cayenne has been asked to be the face of Jordan Kids, which I think is the greatest thing ever. So we're here, and he's having a good time. That's a great one. Daddy's going to come after the rehab for his groin, ankle, wrist, so he's growing up Grant, did so you do with his bad. foot up yet? I'm like a proud mom in the background. And it's not bad to get a paycheck at four years old. I wasn't doing anything at four years old. I'm happy to be with Mello. I haven't seen him in a long time. All right, let's go. Show Daddy your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Do that again. The woman we love to talk about, Asani, is here at the photo shoot. But now I'm kind of looking like. That's some big kids, right? No, little kids. I'm just looking back at La and I'm noticing her, observing how Asani and Mello are interacting, and I'm kind of thinking what people are saying is weighing a little heavy on her. She said that Orlando is getting hit, so we want to make sure that's the story they're going to be visiting. I'm not dumb. I don't think that Asani and Mello have something going on. This situation is different. Trust me. So all the stripper talk and nonsense about Asani just has me feeling like I want to step it up. And in order to learn about a strip club, you need to talk to a real stripper. So I've decided to call my girl, Gigi McGuire, the number one stripper in my opinion, to kind of teach us some of the ins and outs of being in touch with your inner stripper freakiness. Gigi, okay, here's the bottom line. As a woman, if a man comes there super attractive, how does your mind not go to, wow, this could be. Oh, God, you still tripping on Mellow being in the club? No, I'm just saying, you can't act like that doesn't happen. I don't do sexual acts, but it does happen. And if a guy like your guy comes in the club, then, yeah, they're going to run to him because they know he got a lot of money. But it don't necessarily mean that they're trying to get at him. It just means that they're trying to get they're the trying to get money. Some money. <laughs> money is what we're there for. It's like the regular club, except it's naked girls there dancing for money. It's a man's like, spot. The games is on. The they got wings chicken are good. wings. It's like dinner in a movie. There you go. Dinner and a movie. Mello goes to a strip club. It doesn't bother me as long as it's done in moderation. You gotta let people go out and have fun, and if you don't trust the person you're with, then why are you with them? You show us how to do that one move. The police officer? No, I, oh, there you go. You're under arrest. Yeah, yeah. This is what I tell my students. You gotta put the stink on it. Sticking out your butt and sticking out your chest. And then oh, push. Oh. oh. If you watch Gigi's body, there are things that she can do that are quite amazing. So if we can pick up 1% of that, we're doing okay. Open up your legs wide. Okay, now drop straight down. Okay, a lot about your vagina right now. There you go. Now stick your butt out and lean forward and push out as you come up. Oh, <laughs> there was just a butt, but it wasn't popping. She couldn't dance to save her life. She was just selling ass and titties, man. Melo didn't lock that down for nothing. Come on, Lock. Yeah, Puerto Rico. Lock is like, you know. Oh, 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 oh. All this is for Mel. But all this is for me, because you want to feel confident, you want to have self-esteem. And if I feel good and confident and sexy, 
That's only gonna make my marriage to Mello even better. All right, to the strip club, let's okay. And I know you wanna go. Yeah. Yeah. Emma, hey, what's up? You wanna hear something crazy? What's going on? After hearing everybody's opinion about Asani and that whole situation, I'm going to talk to my mom. She puts it all in perspective, like I'm sure most moms do. At my photo shoot, Asani walks in, and Charlemagne was like, who's that? And I'm like, she works with Mello. Right. So Charlemagne's like, and you OK with that? You know, it's a concern. A lot of people have that concern. Wow. Mm hmm She's a pretty girl, she's single, and when you're spending so much time with a person, things could happen. Nothing surprises me because Well, if I've I found lived. out that Asani and Mello were sleeping together, I'm sorry, I would be very surprised. I would be surprised, but I won't be, like, shocked. Do you know what I mean? So mom just kind of put the black cloud over me, and I definitely think it's time to talk about it. So many things in life could be clarified with one conversation. I just have to process everything that you just said. Today I'm meeting with Asani. I just needed to make her aware of what was being said and us just kind of clear the air. I wanted to sit down and talk to you because, you know, people really making me feel like an idiot for having an attractive female that works as close to my husband. Charlemagne seems to believe that we have a system going that when, <laughs> so this way Melo doesn't have to venture outside too far. Oh, Charlemagne. Sorry, that's funny. But that was very creative of him. So we get it because we know each other, but I have to ask, are you messing with my man? Not with Mello. <laughs> I don't appreciate you talking about my husband I'm sorry. like that. I'm like, Mello, you are the brother I never had. I can never see him as more than that. And it frustrates me because it makes me feel like you can't be beautiful and have some level of integrity. Right. We've always had a great relationship, but it always seems like it's the outside that tries to make it something mm -hmm. that it's not. You're his best friend. Mm -hmm. And he's told me she was there for me when nobody else was. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it easy for me to work for him, mm -hmm. because I know the kind of person that he is. And I love you. Love you, too. <laughs> but if you ever try to fuck my man, <laughs> I'm going to fuck never you. Happen. I go off of her personality, her character, her morals, and she wouldn't do that, and he wouldn't do that. My issue is not with Asani, it's with my husband, and I have to trust my husband, and he wouldn't do anything like that. And then it makes it worse because you don't have a man. Right. You know, I'm a matchmaker oh, in my Lord, spare wow. time. I'm going to hook you up with somebody. Okay. All right. I'm open. It's 2012, where the love dwells. 2012. Ride to the top, baby. <laughs> but not literally. <laughs> I didn't mean to say it like that. This season on Lala's Full Court Life. Welcome, Lala Anthony! This is the craziest week ever. I'm doing the red dress event. Kelly's getting honored as one of Essence Women of the Year. We have a session with the shoe designers, Motives. We need you to do the sales and distribution conference. Can you believe it's been four years since Tiara? Uh, no, I can't, actually. And it's Kelly's birthday this week. Surprise! We're in Miami, bitch! Miami! You should go take a super class. Welcome to the Espana Strip Turkey's Academy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm always here for you, and I'll always be your best friend. I love you. Yeah. Just some amazing people that are friends of mine and people that I admire. I love friendship. Friendship. Oh, I've decided to hook dice up with somebody. I like vaginas. <laughs> How come we never see you with a black chick? Their attitude. Kiss my <laughs> ass. <laughs> My life is crazy. I don't even have time to have sex with my husband. You're going to have another baby? We do have a biological clock. Are you thinking about having any more? Talk to him about, about, about that. I was trying to get you before I went on stage. I was wondering why you didn't call. It sounds like you're rushing me off the phone again. Mello and my schedule has been so crazy. It really feels like we're just two ships passing each other in the wind. I can't hear you. Hello? i just been having some issues with, you know, Dyson Poe. I think I found La. Oh, shit. We just got stood up. We'll teach her a lesson. We should ice her out. Everything don't happen in the way you think it should go. Who you calling a bitch? You bitch. What has this gone you to bitch? bitch. You. Oh. Okay. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Mama's gonna sing you a lullaby. And if that lullaby don't sing, Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring. 
And if that diamond ring don't shine, mama's gonna buy you a porcupine. Rub a dub dub in the tub. Mama's gonna buy you a Power Ranger toy. And if that Power Ranger toy don't work, mama's gonna go to work and get you a new shirt.